Hi there, today we're talking about how to get your spirited child to listen the first time. My clients say things to me like, the teacher says my child is a great helper, but at home, I get no help. Or they'll say, um, my children have perfect hearing unless I tell them to do something. Or how did my parents get me to do chores, all the chores I did, and I did a lot, when my kid won't even pick up his socks? Like, right? Well, you're gonna find out how to do it today. And I'm gonna break it down. I got about five steps, but I'm gonna try to make it super simple and, and quick. So the first thing is I want you to really, the next time you tell your kid to do something, I want you to listen to what you say because the number one mistake that teachers, caregivers, parents, grandparents, aunts, babysitters, the number one mistake they make when talking to children is that they don't tell their children what to do. They're not telling them, they're asking. And children need to be told what to do. You don't have to be mean about it, but they need good direction. And so here's what it usually sounds like. I need you to pick up your toys, okay? Or it's time to take the trash, okay? No, you need to just tell them, Jim Bob, pick up your toys. Mary, take out the trash. Simple sentences, children need that direct language. Putting a bunch of niceties on it only clouds what you want. They love, they're very literal and they need clear direction. Okay, that's your first um, pitfall to avoid. But the first step in telling your children what to do is to get off of your phone and make sure your children are not distracted. Turn off the television. Don't tell them to do something when they're, they're playing with friends or fighting with their siblings or anything. You have to be intentional about this. You're not gonna tell them as you're walking down the hall. So it might look something like this. Jim Bob, stop what you're doing and look at me. Right here, look at me. Thank you. I want you to pick up all of your Legos and put them in the red basket. Okay, so let's break down what I did there. So I was getting Jim Bob's attention. The clap, is not necessary for all kids, but some spirited kids really need some noise or something to kind of get them, especially if they're, if you suspect they have ADD or if, you know, they, they're that kid that can really focus on something like laser in, they need something to kind of uh, get them out. You're not, I want, I want to be clear, we're not like whistling at them like, they're an animal, although some parents do use a whistle or just something to get their attention, okay? Um, so you might wanna see how that works for you. I got his attention and I was waiting until I knew I had Jim Bob's attention before I gave an instruction, okay? And when I gave the instruction, I was very clear. I want you to pick up all the Legos and put them in the red basket. Even if the only basket you have is the red basket, and that's always where the Lego goes, it's very helpful for children when you give that kind of description. It holds in their mind longer. So that's what you wanna do. So you wanna make sure you're focused, your child is focused, and you give direct instruction. Part B of telling what to do is making sure that they understand they are going to be held accountable for getting the job done. And this is how, this is how it sounds. Jim Bob, listen, thank you. I want you to pick up all these Legos and put them in the red basket. I will be back in five minutes to see that it's done. So you see what I did there. I gave that instruction and then I gave a time 
for him to do it. So he knows he has five minutes to do it. Hold on one second. Kids don't really have a great concept of time. That's okay. This is helping them learn. So what's important is that you set a timer for five minutes if you say five minutes, for 10 minutes if you say 10 minutes. Actually, it's actually helpful for children if you say seven minutes, 12 minutes, just a different time. Um, it sticks in their brain longer, a little tip. But you need to make sure whatever time you say you do come back so that they can start to learn what five minutes feels like. Okay. And I told him I'd be back to see that it was done. I'm going to make sure he does it. I'm not threatening. I'm not promising. I'm not bribing. I'm just saying I'm going to come back to make sure it's done. That's it. He's going to be held accountable for it. And then I need to follow through and I need to set a timer on my phone or my fancy watch or call out to my robot that's listening um, and tell so that I can have the right time set and then come back and, and check up on that. And then the last step is just, I need to practice this. It, it's new. It's different. We need to practice it. My kid needs practice in listening to me and I need to get them used to me being focused, direct, holding them accountable and following through. Okay, there is the really best way, and I'm going to tell you, it works, it works, it works, if you work it correctly. I would love to hear your comments, especially, I really want you to try it, and then let me know how it goes. If there are any kinks or, you know, questions, please post them so that I can answer them. Have a great day.